rattlesnakes, king cobras, alligators, venomous tarantulas, and eight-foot pythons. These are just some of the dangerous animals that have been picked up by the Nebraska Humane Society in the metro. Animals that are typically in other parts of the country and the world. They think it's all neat to have one of these animals uh, and then someone gets hurt. More than 40 dangerous exotic animals have been seized by the Humane Society this year. Very few involved owners reporting them to turn them over. Where are they coming from? In the age of the internet, all it takes is some cash, no experience, no proper habitat, just cash. So I checked for myself. Hey Megan, what kind of alligator should I get? <laughs> I settled on an American alligator. I think I'm going to name him Chompy. <laughs> Paid with a credit card and had it sent directly to the station's address. Signed for the package. Yep, that is me. Jen took it straight to the Humane Society. This is probably the smallest one I've ever dealt with ever. Yes. Kelly Brown has handled these animals before. Um, we have seen quite a big increase in alligators here lately. Probably over the past few years, we've picked several up per year. Yeah, we, we have had pet alligators get loose in the city, and very rarely will people come forward and claim them, of course. So this guy likely couldn't take off a finger right now. The Humane Society says there's a lot more responsibility after you make those clicks and shell out that wad of cash. As he grows up, you know, year by year, he's going to get worse and worse. His teeth are going to get bigger. He's going to get stronger. He's going to get more muscular, um, probably more aggressive. Brown says sellers don't have to follow local ordinances if they aren't in the state, but reputable ones will check before shipping a dangerous animal. Um, it is kind of frustrating. I wish they would do some more checking um, into the local areas that their buyers are calling from to make sure that the animal can't go there. They're seeing an increased number of cases. While doing garden work, an elderly woman found a five-foot alligator in her garden. This summer, the Humane Society seized dozens of venomous snakes from a West Omaha home. Many were from across the world, and there wasn't any anti-venom in Nebraska. So I don't think people realize that. They just expect, well, I'll go to the hospital if I get bit. Well, the hospital only stocks the venom for the snakes that are knownly here. John Foss Jr. received probation, a $600 fine, and was told not to have snakes for a year. In August, eight-foot albino pythons were seized from Adam Bordermark at a Ralston townhome. Though it's unclear if these animals were shipped through the mail, it emphasizes the growing problem. It's a recipe for disaster, and uh, it's shown to be problems all over the United States. Uh, David Seifert has been a pet store owner for more than 20 years. He says Nebraska has great laws against dangerous animals like these, but there needs to be federal law to regulate those who are selling illegal pets over the Internet. It's wide open out there. I mean, they're not hiding anything on, on the Internet when they're doing this type of stuff. It, it's a bad practice, and, and there really ought to be... Um, more uh, regulation or, or more checking on on places that are doing this. Brown says people need to be responsible citizens and check local ordinances before buying something like our alligator. They don't make laws, you know, for no reason. Um, they make laws because experiences have already happened. We've already Seifert hopes authorities at the federal level will do something before someone else is snake bit. I mean, if you can go there and, and have an alligator delivered to you in a day, Anybody can do it, and uh, anybody can look on the internet and see where this is happening and do something about it. The Humane Society did take the alligator in this story to a place that is capable of caring for and housing such an animal. For a complete list of animals considered dangerous in the metro, go to our website at KMTV.com. Jake Wasikowski, KMTV Action 3 News.